For me, yes, art is a part of my life. Um, many forms of art, I think most um, notably would be music. Um, I'm really into music and I think that it's going to shows and listening to music can uplift your spirit at any time and no matter where you're from, what you believe in, what your background is, um, you always have some sense of love for music and I think that, you know, especially in going to shows, um, you can just let loose and be who you want to be and sing out loud and dance like a maniac and nobody cares or should care. Art, like music, helps me to find and be my true self by listening to different artists, figuring out what I like, the messages that they send, and just the artistic ability behind it um, really inspires me and helps me to find myself. I'm not really sure like what it is, but I feel like to a certain degree, like most people I'll have find artistic mediums as an outlet. I mean, maybe not everyone, but I feel like everyone needs a little bit of that, like whether it be music or like painting, drawing, yeah, dancing, you know, like I don't know what was the question. How does that allow you to find? <laughs> find yourself. How does it allow me to find myself? Um, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just like a like. It's like a very like quiet like reflection like you can't really be talking to people or doing anything you just have to be like very focused and in the moment and it's like something that you've created completely organically like coming out of you and like coming like into like reality and something tangible my kind of strength when i talk loud and i just feel like that's myself and it is just... yeah oh my gosh <laughs> that comes out I just broke, even okay that. oh my gosh okay <laughs> yeah so when i talk kind of loud among friends, I feel like um, everybody's happy because I am making them happy. So, you know, I'm kind of like a little bit of a risk taker, you know, I kind of like to do this and that. So I, I do a lot of like kind of crazy hobbies like skydiving, bungee jumping, cliff jumping, snowboarding, you know, anything that gets my heart pumping, you know, that's how I define my life. I'm very fast paced. I don't think a lot, just do. Yeah, I would totally say that it helps me find my inner self. Sometimes I... Well, I, I play also. I also play trumpet, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I played that all through high school. And I remember um, in high school, I was part of the jazz band. So in jazz, there's always those little spots where you um, kind of have to improvise. Mm -hmm. And whenever I would improvise, um, I would always feel like a connection to myself. Like, oh, can I do these high notes? Can I do this little? Um, can I do these little like? Uh, I forget what it's called. It's been a long time. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I remember it's. Uh, I remember when I when I'd be improvising, I'd be like, "Oh, can I do like, can I do like this little piece right here, quicker than I usually do?" And uh, and yeah, I, that helped me connect with myself in uh, learning what I would think I could do and mm -hmm. actually do compared to what I think I could do and not do. I'm not religious, but I believe that religion and arts can definitely express your self-knowledge. So first we have two kinds of knowledge. It's the knowledge outside and inside. And that kind of two things can help you to explore yourself. What kind of person you are. 